All right, so one of the problems that we were running into uh, as we were trying to figure out Dr. Post and Gubrick with our Google Classroom is we were having a problem with getting some of our rubrics loaded. And uh, after doing some digging around, we finally found it. It is a, just a simple little glitch in the system. Um, and so the error that we kept receiving was that um, the rubric contained a duplicate copy in the skills or attributes in the left-hand column, which was over here. As you can see, we do not have anything that is a duplicate. Um, but what happens is you cannot have any blank spaces um, at all in your rows um, or columns. And so by just deleting that row, um, that takes care of it. Now, the other thing that we have to take a look at, maybe something to consider is down here in this rubric, we have name of writer and name of editor. This is going to read this as a column. And this is how you issue points across the rubric. And so this isn't really going to work. Uh, so we may want to rethink that a little bit. So for the sake of this rubric, um, and this is up to the teacher discretion how to fix that. I'm just going to mark it there as either um, I don't know, yes or no, depending on where you want to give the point values. And so I'll leave, you can go ahead and edit to your own copy. So that way it's like that um, and not showing a glitch in the system as for three points it says name of editor. So we eliminate that space in the rubric. Now, all right, so we go ahead and open up Doctopus here. All right, and I picked the malware right, but I'll show you here on the change rubric just what I did. Not that most people know how to do this, but I just went to my drive, I went to the spreadsheet, and it's right here, this malware writing rubric. All right, so we'll go ahead and select that. All right, and then you'll be, you'll be good to go. So I already have it up here, it's right here. Okay, things have changed, we should be good. We're gonna look for new submissions. You would just look for submissions if it's your first time running it, follow the instructions, not overly difficult. So these will pop up. All right. So here's the assignment that was turned in. I would go up here to Gubrick. And the rubric should pop up on top, along with the essay. Obviously, there's nothing written on this blank template. And go in, I'm gonna add in all the scores. Okay, uh, this is here, where we wanna give the points for the writer and editor. We gotta work through these columns here a little bit, uh, depending just on how you want to do that. That's up to the teacher. Um, comment, it works. All right, we can auto advance, email scores, and you can submit it, and then the student would get that rubric that attach at the bottom of their essay. So it does work. Once again, the glitch that we ran into was right down here in the rubric. We just can't leave a space. I hope that helps and uh, makes life a lot easier for everyone.